Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be another book tag and it's going to be the what makes me pick up a book. This was created by Charlotte over at Wonderfully Bookish. Um, I'll try and find her channel and leave it tagged down below for you. Um, but let's dive straight into the questions. Question number one is do you judge by a book by its cover? Absolutely, don't we all? Um, I'm less inclined to pick up covers that I don't find intriguing than ones that I do and yeah um, it's very rare that I pick up a book um, based on anything else um, because that's what covers are designed to do they're designed to draw you in and make you want to pick it up and have a look and see what it's about so of course we all judge books by the cover question number two focusing on the cover what is it that attracts you I can't really pin it down because a variety of things attract me. Um, the Robin Hobb series here, originally I was buying these in the early 2000s and the early series, so the Farsia trilogy, Live Ships, and I think the beginning of Tawny Man, um, had covers that looked like paintings and I, that's what drew me in. Um, with romance novels, um, it's usually people on the cover and it's usually a good pose, maybe slightly exposing or sexual in nature because um, I like that in my romance books. Um, or it could be as simple as something like the foiling, um, like on Ariadne. Just various different things um, attract me and take hold and make me want to pick it up. So it could be anything. Question number three. Do you read the synopsis first or do you go in without knowing anything? I read the synopsis. Um, I very rarely pick up a book that I don't know anything about. Um, I might pick it up and when I eventually get around to reading it, I've forgotten what it's about. Um, but yes, no, I, I initially always, always read the synopsis. Question number four, do you have any auto buy authors? Yes, uh, I think the only one I've got at the moment is Samantha, Samantha Towell, who is a romance author. Um, and that's partly because I actually get her books in advance of them being released for review. Um, I used to buy everything that Kay Bromberg put out, but because I've been trying to cut back on the amount of books I buy, especially Kindle books, um, I've stopped buying hers and I haven't bought her recent series that she's released. Um, so other than that, no, not really. I used to buy everything that Stephen King put out. Um, I used to buy everything that Dean Koontz put out. Um, Terry Pratchett, I used, I would buy his books whenever I saw them and had spare money. Um, but no, other than that, I don't really have any auto buy authors anymore. Question number five, are you likely to pick up a book because it has specific elements in it like, um, LGBTQ plus representation, disability represent representation, mental health representation. No, um, I will read pretty much most things. Um, so, and it's nice if, if those things are in there because those aren't things that are, are specific to me, um, maybe. Uh, so it is nice to read about them. Um, I think more they should be own voices. Um, although I don't see why authors who don't have that background, as long as they do the research, um, they should be able to, to write from those points of view. Um, but yes, no, there, there isn't really anything like that that would make me more likely to pick up a book or not. Question number six. Uh, do you ever pick up a book that has generally negative reviews just so you can form your own opinion? Yes, I have done. Um, if I'm not sure about a book, if I kind of think the cover's okay, if maybe the synopsis is a bit vague or if it gives me kind of like mm, maybe vibes, then yes, um, I will go to review sites like Storygraph and have a look at the reviews and see what they say. And if especially the negative ones, um, because the negative ones sometimes can tell you a whole lot more than the positive ones. Um, and and then yeah then i will read it just to see whether you know i feel the same or differently question number seven do you ever buy books because they've been talked about a lot on social media and yes i have done that um off the top of my head i picked up one day like this by scarlet cole i bought that in september and that was purely because i kept seeing um 
things from the author all over Instagram. Uh, a Song of Wraiths and Ruin um, a year ago, a year or two ago, it was quite heavily um, publicised on Booktube. Um, so yes, so I have picked up books just because I've heard about them um, online. In fact, um, just above my head here, you've got books two and three of the Morrigan Crow series. I bought them because I saw them on Booktube. Um, so yes, so I have I have picked up books um, purely because I've seen the hype. Question number eight: Is there anyone whose recommends you will always always trust? Mm, no. Um, I watch quite a variety of booktubers. Um, I watch everything from romance to thriller to science fiction to fantasy and I purely watch them just to see what other people are reading and to get recommendations that way. I don't then associate the book with the person who recommended them so if I didn't like a book um, I wouldn't then say oh because I saw that person recommend it I'm not going to read anything else that they recommended. Um, so yeah so I don't really I, I like to get recommendations from a variety of different people and places. So that was the what makes me pick up a book tag. As always, I tag all of you to have a go. I will leave the questions down in the description box. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do like. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. I put up videos every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.